Top 5 Korean Travel Expressions Welcome to Korea. 안녕하세요. Hello, I'm a certified native Korean teacher, Hangul Lee. Hangul means Korean alphabet and it was made in 1443 by King Sejong. I just added Lee at the end to make it sound cute. How do you like it? Today, I'm going to introduce how to speak in Korean at the airport, on the subway, and at a restaurant. Also, I'm going to explain how to speak hello and thank you in Korean. These expressions will be very useful during your trip. Okay, here we go. Number one, at the airport, 공항에서. 공항 means airport. I'm going to teach you how to say, do you have a T money card? T stands for transportation and it's a must item to get around in Korea to take the subway, a bus, and a taxi. You can get it in convenience stores such as 7-Eleven, Ministop, CU, Just25, Emar24, etc. They are everywhere. You can find at least a couple of ones in a neighborhood. Okay, in order to say this, in Korean, it's important to know these two concepts, which are very different from English. Now, number one, order of words. As you see, both languages start with the subject, but Korean ends with a predicate, like a verb or an adjective, while English has a predicate earlier. Number two, pronouns are not necessary. Korean is a context-based language, so we don't have to say a pronoun when it's very obvious. Therefore, now we just need to say T-money card first and have later. And make sure you raise up the tone at the end to indicate a question. For your information, we don't have these do, does, and did. We just need to raise up the tone at the end to make a question. It's quite simple. Have means 있어요. So how to say, do you have a T-money card? As in this order, you can say, T-money card 있어요? One more time. T-money card 있어요? Make sure you raise up the tone at the end. If you tone down at the end, it's an affirmative sentence with a pronoun hidden in the context. So it becomes, I have a T-money card, or he or she or we have a T-money card. Korean changes like a chameleon depending on the context. So now we got a pattern. Do you have noun means? Noun 있어요? It's so simple. I hope we can apply this to many words originated from a foreign language like menu, napkin, and so on. For example, if you want to get a napkin or a menu at a restaurant but can't find them, you can ask napkin 있어요? or menu 있어요? Number two, on the subway, 지하철에서. Subway means 지하철. Korean subway can be very crowded, especially during rush hours. When you need to get through the crowd and up the subway, you can say, 잠시만요. That means, excuse me, in this case. Actually, 잠시 means a moment, so it literally means just a moment. You can use it when the server at a restaurant is waiting for your order, but you are not ready. Okay, repeat after me. 잠시만요. 잠시만요. Okay, good. Next up. Number three, at a restaurant, 음식점에서. Restaurant means 음식점. There is a menu here and you want to order by pointing at this one and you want to say, this one please. Number one, this one means 이거. Number two, noun please means noun please give. Number three, please give means 주세요. We gotta be more specific in this situation. So you can say, 이거 주세요. That means, this one please. Please make sure you put a verb at the end, like I explained earlier. That's the number one rule in Korean. Finally, now you're going to learn how to say hello and thank you in Korean. It's very simple. Hello means 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Actually, it literally means, are you doing well? So it feels like more of a question. When you learn Korean and English more and more, you are going to realize word-for-word -word translation doesn't work a lot of times. So it's fun to learn a new and different way of thinking, isn't it?
Okay, repeat after me. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Okay, next up. Finally, thank you. 감사합니다. One more time. 감사합니다. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my lesson about top five Korean travel expressions. I hope they will come in handy. Have a good trip. 감사합니다.